You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV HD. Hi guys, it's Manny Sanchez. Today, a beautiful day that's turned a little kind of great today. We got a nice little beautiful gray Acura TL here, 2012 model, we're gonna show you. You know, unfortunately, sometimes sunny South Florida gets a little shady, and today is one of those days. And uh, so we might get a little sprinkles here and there. But let's talk about something that's really, really bright and something that's really exceptional. And it's this Acura TL, 2012 model. In 2011 and 10 and all them, uh, were pretty similar cars though. They have redesigned the styling. And what they've done away with is that ugly beak that they had up here. They still have a beak up here of someone, but a lot of people, it was kind of a weird looking, the 2011, 2010 looked like it, almost looked like a, an iron beak coming out the front. And there's one in the back too, and we'll show you that shortly. I mean, it's an all aluminum V6, similar to what was in the NSX, very similar to what they use in the Comtech Acura NSX that they ran in, in, the, in, in, in other series. Very similar to the new V6 that they're running in the IndyCar series now. Obviously that's a turbo model, this is not. Um, and this particular one is a four wheel drive, so, or what they call all wheel drive model. Absolutely unbelievable. Designed the whole back of the car, but still has some similar lines to 2010 and 2011. Beak is kind of settled down, it's a little smaller, and basically they incorporated this beautiful spoiler back here. Just gives it some just sporty uh, luxury sedan feel that it does. Let's show you a little bit about this trunk. I mean, they've even incorporated a little button here. You go ahead and hit and open up your trunk. It's got a camera so we can look when we're reversing. Great ample space in here. I mean, they really have a lot of space. You can put some nice luggage in here. Overall, just about everything that you want. And uh, what the heck, what can I say? You know, just close up. Oh my God, I left my keys inside. They even have that set up on the car. My keys fell in here a minute ago. I closed this. I would have locked them in there. It's unbelievable. Look, look, I'll demonstrate it again. I'll leave those keys back in there. We close it and it knows. It, you can't even get locked out of this car. Smart cars, man, I'm telling you. Acura did their homework. So, overall, just an absolute beautiful vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and go inside, take it for a little drive, and we'll talk some more and show you some of the goodies that are inside. Well, as you can see here, they went ahead and incorporated everything right here at your fingerprint, at your fingertips. So we got all our volume control and our channels for our different stations that we want to use. We want to put place phone calls through our Bluetooth. We want to be able to communicate uh, with other systems that we have in here. Everything is right here incorporated. Obviously, their cruise control and their accelerating and decel. And to finish it all up, they went ahead and incorporated the little electric paddle shifts here. So when you feel a little sporty, put in a sport mode, you go through there, manually shift the gears that you like. What can we say about such a beautiful machine? Acura always seems to really have really great design. But with such nice styling, they kind of, in the older years, they kind of screwed it up a little bit, in my opinion, and a lot of other people, was that front beak that they had up there. And we're going to show you that in a second. 
But let's talk about the styling overall of the vehicle. This vehicle is just absolutely gorgeous. Every, everything that they went ahead and designed into it was for comfort, for, for, for safety, for just about everything you could imagine that you're gonna want out of a really high-end luxury car at a price that's pretty reasonable. So, this is the SH model, which is all-wheel drive. It's got that ugly beak that they took, they got away from it. Now it's, they got some really nice, more refined, but it's still a little bit of, um, they still got some, some of it on there. They got a little, a little bit over, they didn't want to get rid of the whole thing. I love the way they redesigned the whole fascia up front, put in some really nice styling lights, how they wrapped around, and uh, overall, it's just unbelievable. We're gonna show you the motor in a second. You know, finish off this review, the car is unbelievable. It's one of the better vehicles, especially the sports sedan in the market, at least for the price range. We're talking about a vehicle that's probably in the mid 40s. Uh, this particular one here is about 45, the way it sits with all its goodies. But overall, it's just an, it's a great vehicle, great family car, great sports sedan, great sport everything. and. Uh, I recommend you go out and drive one. So to the next review, this is Manny Sanchez. You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV HD.